Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. As you saw this morning, I made myself a little coffee and started the nails for what we're doing today. Today is going to be a making of the blog, as per usual, and the focus is going to be that really wild black and floral dress that I thrifted last week. I want to give it a slight upcycle. I'm probably just gonna stick with the Charlotte Tilbury because that's just been my go-to really lately. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. I don't wanna do this on camera because I don't have a million minutes to spare today. Okay, so I just finished my base and I actually just went ahead and did my brows. And now I'm just throwing on some mascara. I've been wearing this a lot lately. I didn't think I liked it at first. It's the MAC Magic extension and at first I didn't think I really liked it that much because it was really messy. I don't like it when my mascara ends up all over my face and just gets really gloppy. But yeah now I like it. I actually really like it and it's really buildable. I think the reason why it's so gloppy is because it has the microfiber hair in it so it's buildable. That's totally what's going on. Sometimes sometimes you'll look at that and think gosh there's a lot of lint in this and then you're like duh. <laughs> Here, look, so this came in the mail. I fell for an Instagram ad. This is the, the packaging and I, their, their ad did a good job. That was a really well done ad. This is a freckle making machine. <laughs> so it comes with this and the inside of it looks almost like a little brown sponge. You know what, I need to do my contour and my blush first and then we'll do it. But I do really like this packaging and it's just called freckle printing. All right, so I'm blushed and I'm bronzed and I wanna try this. I wanna see how it's gonna look. Got product on every little rung. Let's just stamp. <sighs> that totally <laughs> looks like real freckles instantly. It instantly looks like I have freckles on my arm. That is the quickest and easiest freckle maker of all time. How has nobody thought of this? And then you can just do that to really set it in. <laughs> that was quick like two little passes over my face so the dress is pink hot pink floral with gold detail and it's black to do a version of that without matching it completely we're just going to do a little pink accent on the inner corner so what i was thinking of doing was the norvina palette e5 which is like almost fluorescent and we're just going to do a little on the inner tear duct area of course, they're going to take the pretty easy. Let's start there. I'm just going to go in with silver, even though the dress has gold. That's good. That's good. I think that's fun. I've got the freckles. I've got the fun pink. It's different and it's as wild as this dress. For the lip, I'm going to keep it really simple. I honestly feel like even just a clear would be kind of fun. So let's take this one. I just got this in my most recent little Ipsy by Trifle Cosmetics and it's called Jelly Juice. And it's just a really juicy gloss. It has a little tinge of pink to it. But yeah, just a light gloss is good enough for me. I love that. I kind of feel like I look a little bit like a sexy bug. 
<laughs> a sexy bug it's fun totally would have loved to have worn lashes with this look but i just really need to let my eyelashes heal from the reaction that we're still experiencing right at this moment because they're itchy all right let's uh let's go take a look at the dress Okay, so here is the dress. This is the one I was talking about. Now, you guys know, whenever I have a dress, the first thing I wanna do is cut the length off. The first thing I need to do is figure out what length I wanna make it. So we gotta put it on and measure it to cut. All right, so here's the weirdest thing I just realized about this dress. The pocket is only on this side. So whoever made it, which it's definitely handmade, I just looked at the inside of it and it's all like stitched as if it's someone made this. Whoever made it, forgot to put in the other pocket and also it is such a particular kind of dress that whoever did make it if they see me out in public wearing this they're gonna know I'm wearing their dress and they're gonna see that it's been altered <laughs> so I hope I don't insult them but see how it looks a little bit too much like almost a nightgown or a granny gown wouldn't that be so much cuter just look just just doing that no it's not for you and it's not what you think no nope, Marvin it's ball shaped leave it Anything ball shaped, he's like mine. Can has. You guys, look at how cute this dress turned out. This is what I'm talking about. Shortening a dress and adding a white trim, it does it for me every time. Okay, so here's the outfit put together. So we have a little Kate Spade purse that I got at the little Kate Spade outlet in Bend, North Bend, Washington. The dress is beyond. I love the way it turned out. I'm in love with it. <laughs> Here is a close-up of the makeup and the freckles. If you can see those. And just the way the makeup turned out and how it matches the dress now. This is my happy place. <laughs> if anybody was wondering what makes me happy, this is it. <laughs> is making blog content with an upcycled thrifted dress and then doing the makeup and styling it. I could live here in this happiness for the rest of my life with a sandwich on the way. That makes me even happier. I really love this gel. I noticed with the Barbie nails though that since I didn't do the first step in the gel process that it started to easily peel off the nail. So I'm hoping that because I did finally remember to do the first coat first, then two coats of the gel, and then I did a top coat. Cured it quite a few times in here just to make sure that it's good and they came out so shiny and they look so good. That's gonna be a fun one to paint and they are definitely dry and ready to go. And then whenever I paint the flowers on them, I'll stick them in here, cure that, and then add another top coat over the flower, cure that, and then they should be set. I have so many greens to choose from, so many pinks to choose from. The set was so affordable and just so amazing because I could create basically anything I want now. Their bread is so freaking good. I'm so excited about this lunch. All right, the nails are done. 
I love gel because they pretty much harden as soon as you put that top coat on. Uh, yeah, I think these were good for me to put on, so I'm actually gonna just go ahead and press these on. I realized that the more I simplified the flower, the better it looked, and it got muddier the more detail I tried to give it. So lesson learned on that one. We're going to the gardens. The husband is into it. He worked a long day, so I'm grateful that he's willing to strap on the camera and come be my cameraman. Come get your honey on, baby. Come on. <laughs> come on, baby and teeny. Come on, teeny. Come get your honey on, good girl. Good boys and girls. Who's gonna be first? I don't know why you guys are afraid of your harnesses, <laughs> but you are come here teeny tiny oh good girl she's always the better one about getting her harness on she's always much better about it than the bane here you go good girl good girl now go do your funny waddle come here Bean. come here do you want to go for a walk you want to go for one there she does her little strut <laughs> come on marvin Mar, come on, get it. Good boy, come get your harness. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> come on, Bean. Mar, oh dear. Good boy. That's such a good boy. You did it. You did it. All that just for that. <laughs> just to get... <laughs> I know that other dogs do that. I've seen people who have talked about that. One gal has dachshunds that she cannot get them to get their harnesses on. And I always attributed it to the fact that for the longest time I walked him on a lead that was more close to me. I always thought that was the proper leash and a lot of people are gonna agree and disagree on this. He really wants to go smell the smells and explore. And so when he's on that short lead, he was just constantly tugging. And so I felt like the tugging was what was just kind of rubbing him a little bit around his chest and armpit area. And so I got him a retractable lead and the last three walks that we've done with him have been absolutely amazing. It has been a dream and a world of a difference having him on a retractable lead over this one that's like constantly tugging on him and he can just go smell the smell. And then when I recall him and tell him to wait or come back, when he's on the retractable, he listens because he feels like he's free and he's just walking on his own and has that freedom. So when I tell him to come back, he will stop and pause and come back. It's amazing. It's been, a, it's night and day. And the walks are less stressful. I used to get so stressed out and just irritated because he's constantly pulling and stressing himself out and it just wasn't fun for anybody. Yeah, just recently I discovered after having him for four years, just now, <laughs> discovering that the retractable lead and the freedom that he has to go smell and do what dogs want to do go smell the tree go smell the things that he can go do that and i want him to be happy and i want to have a leisurely walk with my coffee and not feel this tugging constant situation going on so it's been great so if you have a dog who pulls and tugs yes they say you know obviously that it probably with bigger dogs you'd want to have them on a shorter leash but whenever we come up on a dog or a crosswalk or a street or wherever where I need him close then I pull him in closer um so that he can't just like run out so I'm I'm a helicopter mother though I'm like hyper paranoid about that kind of stuff so anyway I just thought I would mention that but we're gonna go to the gardens and I'm gonna get some photos I should go touch up my makeup make sure it's how I want it brush my hair keeps like curling into itself and then I uh, get off the floor because I'm just like sitting on the floor <laughs> like a weirdo. We are in the husband's car today, hence the red interior, the maroon interior. We're at the pet food store getting uh, greenies for their teeth and their food. And then we're off to the gardens. If you ever need me, baby, just call me. I waste no time, love, I'll come straight to you. 
How the river's wide, dear, and the road is muddy. Even if I got swim there, you know I'll be there soon. I love you like a garden underneath the rainfall. Moving off a of heat wave in the summertime. Are you the kind of one? I just wanted to show how well the freckles show up in the car. Look at that. Oh, I closed my rings. Proud of that. Well, almost. I almost closed my stand ring. But look at the freckles. That looks so realistic. <laughs> Hello, I was just editing this video and trying to get it ready for upload and I realized that I never actually ended it. So that's what I'm doing. And I just got back from helping a friend pick out a wedding. Well, she didn't find one, but we went wedding dress viewing and it was super fun and this is what I wore. But with my Nike Air Force Ones, I'll insert the photo because I took a photo of myself at are you just sitting there licking my leg? He's so weird sometimes. He's just so glad I'm home. Marvin, I mean, thank you. It's very tweet, very tweet. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> we, uh, I got some footage of the inside of that place, so I'll also show that because really, wedding places are so beautiful. It's romantic. It's just very romantic. I love these little wedding locations that we've been going to. Anyway, I just want to close this video out. We're going to talk about dewy skin on this coming week because that is what I'm really into right now. And if you're noticing my skin's like really glowy, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm into right now. <laughs> but this coming week is going to be a lot of fun. I have a really cool idea. So hopefully we'll get around to that if uh, it's all contingent on what work comes in. I'm done talking. I'm done. I'm sick of hearing myself. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the bell if you want to get notified when I upload, which is every week. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.